So I was looking at many different schools. My father, growing up, he earned everything he had and he told me I'm gonna end up doing the same once I turn 18. And so naturally I began looking at military institutions such as like the academies as well as uh, Citadel and BMI. I did a visit, an overnight visit here at BMI and you know, I got to experience it, this place firsthand and I was like, you know what? I think I'd really like it here. And because I, I, me personally, I feel like I really need structure in my life. When I came to VMI firsthand, I didn't actually have a football offer. So I, you know, I had an ROTC scholarship, got that, but I didn't have a football offer. I didn't get that till late my senior high school year. And Coach Walk approached me and was like, hey, I'll give you a preferred walk on to come play a uh, long snapper here. I was like, you know what? I told myself I was gonna play football at all. It'd have to be division one, so this might as well be it. And then, you know, one thing snowballed into another and then here we are. My first year of football uh, was in fourth grade and I actually played center. I was a pretty big guy in middle school. I was about like 5'8", 285 pounds. Of course, the doctors are, you know, blowing your head up with, you know, oh, you're gonna be 6'4", 300 pounds. Uh, that just wasn't the case for me. I hit high school and I plateaued at six foot. Of course, I transitioned from playing center my freshman year to eventually playing linebacker. I was halfway decent, nothing crazy, you know, enough to get some looks from D3s and D2s. But because I always played center, naturally the center was always a long snapper. So I, I just naturally always played long snapper. And, you know, that's how I made it to varsity my junior year as a football player in high school. Uh, Coach Walk told me, you know, if you work hard enough, maybe you'll get a scholarship. And, you know, as someone who's collecting, you know, debt outside of the three-year RTC scholarship I had, I was like, I need to get this scholarship. And so I spent every little bit of spare money that I would earn when I wasn't here in order to train so that I could get a scholarship. Uh, traveling all over the place, going to places like California, Wisconsin, Minnesota, just to get a little bit of training with guys that trade some of the best people around. And so I took that training to heart, took it fully serious, and it just, it kind of just led to me staying after practice multiple days a week, showing up early, getting extra lifts in. And by the end of my um, sophomore season, I had earned a scholarship. As far as recognition goes, my career, you know, of course, as you know, as a sophomore, I got that Hero Sports sophomore first team All American. My second year, I got uh, FCS Stats All American. And so I was like, okay, this is, this is actually pretty big. I could actually do this. I just continued to work hard, put my head down. And as the years went on, you know, I've kind of led myself to the point where I have the potential, if I finish the season strong, to be a four-time All-American. And that, that recognition has, you know, as you know, already allotted me an invite to the All-American uh, Hula Bowl game, as well as I, I doubt it'll be the only invite that I get. I'm going to commission in December, so, you know, I definitely want to commission in December, uh, be able to serve my country, but while pursuing an NFL career, you know, just be able to and kill two birds with one stone sort of deal. So this is not a very common thing. It's not every day that you know, have this opportunity. A lot of people watching this, they may understand that if you come from an academy, you have the ability to reserve, like kind of put to the side your, your, your service requirement for a couple of years to do that before you have to ultimately return to the military and do your service requirement. In my case, I'm actually gonna do it congruent uh, with the NFL if I, of course, uh, am allotted that opportunity. Uh, basically, the way it would work is, uh, you know, there's a two month time span from when the Super Bowl is over, which is the official end of the season, unless you, you know, don't make it to the playoffs until phase one, which is second week of April. And so during that two month uh, allotted time period, I'd essentially be working as a reservist in uh, command. Right now, we're looking at probably assigning me to the 104th. So I'm really excited about that. This place is very different, but I'm a very big believer that, you know, diamonds are created under pressure. You know, in this place, there's a lot of pressure. At the end of the day, when you do leave this place, it gives you the tools you need to be successful in any environment just because of how strict it is here. 
And, you know, if you can survive in this environment and, you know, fill up your schedule with extracurriculars such as sports, club sports, being an intern around campus, having rank, when you leave and you get into the real world, everything's gonna feel so much slower. You know, I know Coach Walk talks, talks about this all the time. You know, if you practice how you play, you know, when you get in the game, it doesn't feel super fast.